A dire prediction about the future of the Arab world. King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia says conflicts in the Palestinian territories, Iraq and Lebanon, have put the region on the brink of exploding. In his words, let's get more on this from MSNBC analyst and senior diplomatic correspondent for Al Hayat newspaper, Ragida Duryum. And Ragida, speaking at the summit of Gulf leaders in Riyadh, Saudi King Abdullah said the Arab region, and I'm using his words, is a powder keg waiting for a spark to explode. Is it truth or exaggeration? Oh, absolutely, the truth. And they are worried about three issues, Iraq, Palestine, and Lebanon. Maybe Lebanon is the most immediate worry for the Arab world now, given that uh, Iran and Syria are really showing their power in Lebanon through their uh, uh, ally, if you will, which is Hezbollah. But in Iraq, uh, there is a new debate, if you will, because the debate switched away from you broke it, you fix it, to, well, it's a mess that the Americans have created in Iraq, but it's our mess as well. It's in our neighborhood, and we have to clean it up as well. So there is a, there's a lot of talk in the Arab world as to what's the Arab role, not only what do Americans have to do about it. And many are saying, surely, that we need the United States to beef up before they phase out, but we need, we need that, uh, yes? As you were discussing, we were talking about the Arab role in all of this. The Gulf leaders say they're concerned about Iran's growing influence in Iraq, as well as their nuclear ambitions. For the Gulf leaders, which is the bigger issue, the nuclear program or the interference in Iraq? Uh, it's the interference in Iraq, in Lebanon, and in Palestine. If you would take a look at the Iranian uh, position in the region, it's really trying to be the champion of anti-Americanism in the region. Take a look at how they're receiving, for example, the Hamas government, uh, and uh, they are allying themselves with the Hezbollah, and how they are saying quite bluntly, we can dictate what, go what goes on in Iraq and what does not go on in Iraq. In a way, uh, if uh, there is, of course, a worry about the nuclear Iran, because uh, they feel uh, that if uh, the United States, for example, does a military strike there, it is the environment, the immediate environment, which is the Gulf region, that's going to pay a price. But I think in terms of the political challenges for the region, Iran is posing the most important challenge because it's saying to the Arabs, step aside. Now I lead your causes. Ragirid Garagam, thank you for joining us. As we, as we leave with Ragirid, we're showing you live pictures out of Lebanon of a pro Hezbollah rally. That's what their control room is telling me. As we look at these live pictures, we'll get you more information on what's going on in the streets there.